The frosts are over now and we have been unbelievably busy planting up all our containers and that includes our edible containers which is what I've been doing here. But as a general rule if you're planting a container in the summer months particularly where obviously watering is a big thing if you're using terracotta which we use lots of here it's a good idea to line it with an empty compost bag because it just means otherwise you've got this sponge of evaporation and it really ups the requirement for watering. So this I've lined with a couple of empty compost bags and the next really good tip that our head gardener here Josie gave me when planting pots is rather than laying out your plants on top of compost and then putting the compost in between and sort of filling in between them. It's much better to fill the whole pot right up with your planting material and then plant into them like this, either with a trowel or you can even do it with your hand because it's just so much easier than trying to kind of ram bits of compost around your squares um, of, of the root balls. So that saves really, really quite a lot of time. We use a, a non-peat based compost in all our pots here and we then, what they'll have is enough food in them for four to six weeks. But within four to six weeks we start feeding and we feed with liquid seaweed fertiliser. Um, and at the beginning of the season we do it at the normal, what it tells you on the back of the packet, but as the season goes on, if you want your container to go on for ages, you actually want to double the concentration. That's what we find really works well. So this is an edible container. I just want to talk you through what I'm planting in it. So in the center, I've got a couple of quite sort of compact dahlias. They're in the Happy Single series and they're lovely. Now you might think, well, okay, well dahlias are very ornamental, but they're not edible. Well, actually they are, their flowers are edible and we use dahlia petals in our salads all the time here to decorate them. And then around that, I've got lemon verbena. Now lemon verbena gets huge, you know, it's a big deciduous shrub. I mean, it will get to a couple of meters. So why on earth am I putting them in my pot? Well, because in their first year, they don't grow so big. And so what I'll do is I'll have these in here. I've got three already planted in here and I'll take them out once the frosts are threatening in the autumn. I'll store them inside in a big pot and then I'll plant them out in the garden the following year or, or in their own pot. And then in between, I have got um, two different scented leaf pelagoniums. So I've got my absolute favorite here, which is called Attar of Roses. And Attar of Roses is the one that smells a sort of Turkish delight. It's really rosy and it is the thing that's the, the leaf that's used in the perfume industry more than any others that gives you that rose geranium fragrance that's one of my absolute favorites and so I've got three of those scattered all through we use that a lot here in things like cordials and sorbets and tisanes just like the lemon verbena um, we use them in a nice herb tea and you just steep the leaves for five minutes and drink them and for a cordial uh, you boil lots of leaves, uh, leave it to steep overnight, then in the morning make a sugar syrup, add citric acid and fresh lemon juice and uh, it's completely delicious. We'll put the recipe on the website. So I've got them distributed pretty evenly like this around the edge and then final one going in um, is this lovely lemon scented uh, geranium which is on trial actually. It's a new one called Angel's Perfume. And final thing is I'm not planting right up to the rim of the pot. I'm pulling them in a little bit. So then the root has got room to grow to the edge as well as to merge in with the other plants. And then labels so I know what's in it because everything here is on trial. And of course, give it good water. Whoop, not that good. <laughs>